What's going on, guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. It is Monday, October 9th, 2023, and I have an emergency update to share with you guys. Right now, it is 4 21 p.m. Eastern Time here in the United States. I wanted to give you an update on the situation with the Middle East, the war that is breaking out. So what you're looking at here is the flight path of a presidential doomsday plane that just landed in Washington, D.C. It came from uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Okay, so the U.S. is moving doomsday planes to D.C. in case things escalate and they have to put the president up in the air so he could command our nuclear forces and our military. Okay, that's what doomsday plane that's what doomsday planes are for. And we also had two nuclear war command and control planes in the air at the same time as the doomsday plane. These are the Boeing E6B Mercury, also known as Takamo planes, and one went out into the Gulf of Mexico. So our nuclear forces are on high alert. Now before I give you guys an update with the latest in Israel, I just want to mention a couple of things. First of all, I'm very concerned that we could see a global jihad as a result of this war. Okay, so if you're watching me from Europe or the United States, you need to be on high alert. Okay, if you live in an area where you can legally carry firearms on your person out in public, you need to make sure you're doing that. 24 7 because i have a really bad feeling that we're going to see a global jihad especially once israel enters gaza on the ground which is just starting to happen now and it's going to happen overnight tonight and in the coming days okay israel is going to basically try to invade gaza and take it over um and that's going to cause an uproar in the Muslim world. And we could see a global jihad declared against uh, the United States, against Europe and against Israel. OK, there could be sleeper cells activated here in the U.S. and in the Western world to attack uh, infrastructure and also to commit random acts of violence. OK, so if you live in an area where you can carry firearms on your person legally in public you need to start doing that 24 7 okay in case something happens uh you may have to neutralize a threat to uh multiple people okay uh also uh i'm very concerned that this is going to escalate into a larger war um i think that the u.s is going to strike iran um with potentially some kind of limited attack option or selected attack option these are basically nuclear attacks of a limited scale and that would basically be the only way for the u.s to decapitate the iranian military and their uh, nuclear facilities okay uh they would probably use a combination of surface burst and uh, ground penetrating warheads with a low yield probably a lower yield than um, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs. We're talking about just a few kilotons to minimize fallout. Um, but this is a very real possibility as the war continues on. Okay, we know that uh, the U.S. Uh, has been preparing for a possible strike on Iran for months and years now. Okay, and uh, if you watched my last update, there was some unconfirmed reports that the U.S has uh beefed up their uh b-52 bombers in the middle east okay they've been moving b-52s into the middle east so uh that's a sign that something could be going down soon um you know we also have to watch out for hezbollah because hezbollah has a lot of advanced missiles including cruise missiles and ballistic missiles and Hezbollah could be waiting for Israel's Iron Dome to get overwhelmed and uh, have all their missile interceptors expended by the cheap Hamas rockets. Okay, Hamas has been using just cheap rockets 
And, uh, you know, every time Hamas fires a volley of rockets, the Iron Dome system has to work. And, uh, you know, those interceptor missiles uh, get expended. OK. And so, uh, you know, it's very possible that Hezbollah is just sitting around waiting for the Iron Dome to be weakened and for all the missiles to be expended. And then Hezbollah is going to launch their ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, which they have a lot of. And I'm sure they were supplied by Iran and Russia and other, uh, you know, countries. OK, um, so that's something we have to worry about also. And uh, I personally believe that Russia had a hand in planning this attack, because if you think about it logically, it's good for Russia if there is a Middle Eastern war, because NATO and the United States have to then focus on that war and de uh, devote resources and attention to the Middle East rather than Ukraine. OK, so it frees up uh, Russia to go in and make more moves in the European theater. And there was some concerning information put out by the Institute for the Study of War. And I mentioned this in my last update. And in case you missed it. Basically, Russia is reorganizing their Western military district, which is the military district closest to the Baltic countries and Finland. And what they're doing is they're breaking it up back to what it used to be before 2010 into multiple smaller military districts like the Leningrad district, the Moscow district. And so this is a sign that basically Russia is planning to make a move on the Baltics and potentially um, make a move on Finland. OK, but definitely the Baltics, if they're establishing a Leningrad district. OK, that's basically the area around St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg used to be called Leningrad during the USSR. Now uh, Russia wants to bring back the Leningrad district, which is right next to the Baltic countries. OK. So guys, get prepared. Things are going to be escalating. It's only going to get worse and worse. Like I said, be alert if you're out in public. There could be a global jihad declared. Carry a firearm if you legally can 24-7. If you can't uh, figure out what other kinds of self-defense tools you can carry legally in your area, okay, anything is better than nothing. But you, your awareness is the number one thing that's more important than any tool. Okay, You need to be aware of your surroundings and you need to have a plan. You need to always be aware of, of uh, where the exits are, wherever you're going, okay? Stay away from crowded public spaces. Um, try to avoid using trains, you know, especially if it's like rush hour time. Uh, stay away from, you know, obvious terrorist targets, okay? So what you're looking at here is a picture coming from Gaza, okay? And this was, uh, taken earlier today and you can see the entire skyline is just lit up orange israel is just pounding gaza right now here's another uh picture i mean you can see that they're using a uh, heavy heavy ordinance on gaza and there's a ton of pictures that i cannot show but uh i think you understand what's going on there here we have a picture coming from uh, lebanon Lebanese civilians are now evacuating uh, from southern Lebanon because they're expecting a war with Israel uh, to spill over into southern Lebanon as Hezbollah uh, gets involved. We currently have uh, three C2 Greyhounds heading towards Crete, and these planes are responsible for supplying aircraft carriers with uh, supplies and also uh, men. OK, munitions, men and supplies. OK, so uh, three of these planes going towards Crete. Obviously, they're in that area so they could resupply the uh, aircraft carriers with whatever they need. OK, so this is a sign that, you know, the U.S. is is beefing up its uh, military presence in the eastern Mediterranean. So I want to just read some of the latest headlines, and uh, I will be doing a live stream later on tonight, okay? Uh, I have it set for, I believe, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I may have to push that back to 10 p.m. Eastern time, okay? We'll see. Um, but definitely sometime tonight, I will do another update live, a live update. 
Uh, so we have some breaking news coming from Turkey. The president of Turkey said that Turkey is ready to mediate to end the war between Israel and Palestine. We have an official representative of Hamas announcing that he is open to negotiations on a ceasefire with Israel. Uh, we have the home front command in Israel telling citizens to prepare to stay in shelters for 72 hours. Okay, so for the next three days, Israel is telling its people to stay in shelters. You know, are they expecting a nuclear attack on Israel? It's very possible, guys. Okay, are they going to get bombarded? with uh, thousands and thousands of missiles from Hezbollah and Hamas, probably. This is, this is uh, unprecedented, guys. I cannot stress to you how serious this situation is, okay? Anybody downplaying this situation needs to get their head checked. Um, and uh, the high command of Hezbollah released an official video with a message in the Hebrew language saying, we are coming, okay? Uh, a Hamas spokesperson is threatening to execute hostages. Let me read to you what he said. He said, we have decided to put an end to this. From this hour on, we announce that every targeting of our safe people will be met with the execution of one of our enemy hostages. And we will broadcast this with audio and visual or audio and video. Okay, so Hamas threatening to execute hostages if Israel continues its bombardment of Gaza, uh, this is really bad, guys. And we know that there's uh, Westerners in those hostages. Some of those hostages are Westerners, okay? Americans, uh, various types of European countries have uh, people that have been taken hostage, okay? Uh, we are getting word that rockets are being fired from Lebanon towards Israel at this hour. Uh, Hezbollah is saying that they attacked the Israeli Pranit and Avivim barracks with guided missiles and mortars. Um, and the Israeli Defense Force is now firing artillery at Hezbollah uh, in southern Lebanon. Okay, so Israel is now firing artillery at Hezbollah. Hezbollah is attacking Israel with rockets. So Hezbollah basically has already entered the war. Hamas threatening to uh, execute hostages. I mean, it's just spiraling out of control, guys. Uh, we have some breaking news coming from sources close to Hezbollah that are reporting that a full mobilization of forces in Lebanon has been ordered, with many said to be moving towards the border with northern Israel. Okay, so Israel's getting attacked on all sides, guys. Okay, uh, Lebanon, uh, Gaza. This is, this is just absolutely crazy, guys, okay? Uh, and I stand with Israel. I will always stand with Israel. Uh, no country is perfect, okay? But uh, as a Catholic Christian, I support Israel, okay? We have a military spokesman for the al Qassam brigades of Hamas, and uh, he's saying that we are ready to continue this battle for a very long time. We are well aware of the results and are prepared for all possibilities. We will avenge our sanctities, our children and our people, and the occupation will reap nothing but defeat and disappointment. We are ready for anything. Okay, so Hamas is digging in. They're ready to fight to the end. Uh, we also have uh, Katerov, the leader of Chechnya and buddy of Vladimir Putin making a comment about this war and he's saying that we support palestine and we are against this war which unlike other conflicts can develop into something more and uh katarov apparently uh announced that uh, he was ready to send chechen forces into the gaza strip okay so uh all you guys out there that love katarov and think he's some kind of uh you know uh champion of freedom against the new world order i don't know how you could even think that but there's all kinds of deranged people out there uh here you have katarov uh you know offering to send chechen forces to the gaza strip to fight against israel so this is coming straight out of the bible guys okay the bible says in the end times israel would be attacked by multiple countries led by russia and we're starting to see that happening right now, okay? We're starting to see the stage being set for this. 
Okay. And, uh, you know, Iran is, uh, you know, basically just standing by and they're ready to, uh, you know, launch missiles. But like I said, guys, I'm very concerned about some kind of a global jihad being declared. So please make sure that you're aware of your surroundings. Okay. Avoid crowded public areas, avoid cities if you can. This is why I've been telling you guys for years that you need to move away from cities. Okay. Cities are the number one uh, threat to a prepper for various reasons. And, uh, you know, you do not want to be in, in any busy, crowded area uh, going forward because I have a bad feeling that global jihad may get declared um, and sleeper cells may get activated. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'll keep you updated. Stay tuned to my channel for continuing uh, breaking news updates. And uh, like I said, I will be going live tonight at some point. I may have to adjust the time, but it probably won't be sooner than nine and no later than uh, midnight, okay, so Eastern time. So take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.